guys, welcome back to Battle Cats. Today we're gonna do a few things, starting with the finale of Ashvini Desert. Moon Dust area final. Don't ask me where the moon dust came from, guys. I thought we were in the desert. So, six enemies in here, and I'm pretty sure one of them is in Sangleon because I'm pretty sure he's the boss of each of these finales. So we gotta deal with him and a bunch of other stuff. We don't know what we're gonna get. We'll just take our loadout from area 19. Which was, by the way, kind of uh, anti-angel. I, I, whatever, it's fine. If we don't have any angels in here, we're gonna have to make a couple of changes. So far, so good, guys. I ain't worried about these dudes. We'll send out a ramen, okay? That's a scary unit right there, guys. Look at him go. Boom! A penguin? Okay, this is getting a little bit worse now, but that's okay because we're gonna use Can Can to save money. And that's already three of the potential enemies in this stage. Three of the enemies that are in this stage, okay? So there's only three more, I think, if I count it correctly. There he is, guys, in Sangleon! We better send out some good stuff. Okay, because that guy's not very nice. And he ain't that bad. And we got, uh, we got Metal Macho, okay? So we're gonna use Metal Macho to uh, stop this guy from advancing too much. He did kill my, uh, my, uh, why am I blanking on the same phone? Oh, he killed my phone, Oa. Guys, it's early in the morning, okay? I wanted to get this done before the stage goes away, so please just excuse me if my brain is not operating at full capacity. This is looking kind of bad now, guys. We did, uh, find out what the last unit is, and it's that stupid behemoth bird. Uh, you know what we need here? Maybe, maybe not. It might be nice to have a Doron, but then again, Doron is more effective against relics than anything. But that's all right. We're gonna we're gonna come up with a good loadout for this, okay? Better yet, maybe we don't even die. Huh? Maybe maybe instead of dying, we just get out another Phonoa and we pretend that we're not. Never mind. Fifty eight percent. I mean, he was feeling the sting. All right. And I think I'm pretty sure Insanglion is a floating enemy, right? Which means we can anti floating this guy. Floating Behemoth. Okay, so a lot of Behemoth Slayers is probably the answer here, guys, and a lot of anti-floating. So let's uh, let's do that. Oh, I wonder if Saber could actually deal any damage here. I feel like trying her just because I like her. Okay, uh, I gotta take out this guy for sure. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some good anti-floating Ubers in here. Okay, I wonder. I wonder. I don't think we can do it, but I wonder. And also, Kai. Kai can like tank a lot of damage from floating, but the problem is we have a lot of other things coming as well, so that might be an issue. What about Clown Cat, guys? I got a level 40 Clown Cat, and I haven't really given it much of an opportunity to do anything, but we do have zombies in here, so I thought maybe if we had Clown Cat, we get a little bit of everything. We can slow the zombies. We got a Soul Strike, which is nice, and it's a Behemoth Slayer. So let's just, let's just see what happens, okay? This is kind of a weird loadout now, not gonna lie. Don't worry, guys, we're just trying to have some fun. We're, we're gonna have some fun, and we might even win. Who knows? Look at that guy, I, I love him. You go, Pennywise. Be careful, though. Oh, look at that, he's got a little uh, a little shield. Beautiful. Well, let's just save money. But let's not put any more upgrades into the wallet unless we have to, okay? I wanna make sure I got a lot of money for this, because out he comes, and he's looking saucy, and here comes Cosmo. Come on, Cosmo, you gotta help us out here, buddy. Let's go, Cosmo. Shwoop! Did that do anything? I should not have put Saber out there, guys. That was the worst decision ever. I did not mean to do that, I swear. Okay. The level got the best of me. Cosmo died. Everything is sad. I'm, I'm leaving. What is this? Sage Slayer. Increases damage dealt to Sages. I didn't really notice that before, but that, that's apparently a thing that's uh, in the game or coming or something. We also have this, which I think I pointed out in the last episode, Conjure. Only You can only deploy one of these at a time. Summons a spirit that attacks foes. What? What? I don't have one of these, okay? Just, just FYI, I don't have any. I don't know what it is. Okay, so we have an anti-angel behemoth slayer, an anti-alien behemoth slayer, an anti-red behemoth slayer. Those are our three best behemoth slayers, I think. I don't know about Cat Tarzan, I haven't used them much. And we got these guys. I, I kinda wanna... See, like I said, it's anti-relic. It is behemoth slayer, though. So maybe I take Doron just to see if he does anything. Maybe. I'm gonna get rid of Pennywise, okay? I don't, I don't want him. I don't think he's gonna do the trick. Come on, we got this. See, we're a little further up this time, which is good. 
Did I bring anything for anti-zombie? I probably should have brought something, right? Because that thing's gonna blow its booty up at me, which is kind of rude, in my opinion. Uh, let's hope that we can do this now, okay? So we got that, we got that Cosmo Fonoa synergy, which doesn't really exist, but it'll probably prevent Fonoa from dying so fast, which is nice. Here comes Saber. Whoa, Saber actually did something here, guys, for like a second, I think, maybe. I don't think we want Saber. I don't think we want anything to, to like, hurt Insanglion with. We need to deal with everything else instead. Goodbye, Fonoa. Thanks for nothing. I have a lot of money. I just can't spend it, you know? What a, what a problem to have. Ugh. I think we just need to do a better job clearing things out. So no Saber. I feel like no Cosmo either. I will not do the Casley Fonoa thing, okay? I just, I just, I can't. I can't do the Focasly strat. It's too good. How about we get like one anti-zombie in here just to see what happens. We should probably take out something. So let's take out Jiangxi. Then we want to do a bunch of damage. And it's to Behemoth, so it's like not really a whole lot we can do here, you know? I'm gonna put Fishman in anyway, okay? Even though, I, like I said, I don't think we need to like target Insanglion so much. I think we need to target the other things and take them out. Let's get, let's get a nice fast boy in here, okay? Zoom, zoom, here comes the bullet train. Sometimes in this game, I try and make improvements and I seem to get further and further away from my goal. But I don't think this is one of those days, okay? I think this is one of the good days. We all have good days now and then, right? Hopefully, Fishman can help me with uh, all this stuff here. He seems to be doing a pretty good job on that. I keep my can-cans coming because the can-cans provide the money. Although, that survivability, really annoying. Okay? I really don't like that uh, that the behemoth dog survives because what happens is he survives and then Can Can doesn't get the, the kill. Okay? And by the time Can Can winds up to try again, someone else has already killed it. Not cool. Come on, guys. I thought we was doing a good job here. I thought things were going pretty good. They weren't the worst. I still feel like I need more spam. You know? I need good spammable units that I can spam. I need spam for spamming. Hello? Or... Or a housewife. 47%! We're, we're on the right track! Okay? Why do I want a housewife? Well, because of the fact that the housewife has great range and can kill zombies. Okay? I didn't think that was going to be that important, but they're kind of getting a little bit annoying. So... Also, how many super rare cat size do I have? A whole bunch. Like, why is my housewife not at level 40? Or at least level 35, you know? I don't know. Here you go. I use her a lot, okay? When you use something a lot, you ought to take care of it. Okay, it's like a, like a, like having a car every now and then. You drive your car a lot, you should probably change the oil now and then or something. Okay, top only. Okay, that's what we're doing. We're just doing the, the top row only. We gotta get as close as we can. Save up that money. And then get going. Okay, so he's a lot farther up now, guys, which is good. We've got a lot of good meat shields here to protect Fonoa. So let's just keep it that way, all right? Let's not do anything crazy. Let's not go dying or anything. Uh, I'm spending my money a little better this time. Or I'm making less. One of the two. Okay, Fonoa died. Sad. That's just this a thing that happens in this game, you know? Well, we're still we're still doing good work here, guys. I would say we actually have this guy about 50% down now. Because uh, he just gave him another knockback. And it just seems like we, we are doing some good damage here. Housewife is helping. I'm really happy about that. We do have this problem coming up out of the ground here. Let's just, we can't knock it back, what? Tried to knock it back, guys. Tried to use my uh, my cannon on it, it didn't work. Here comes another Doron. Boom. Get out of here. Bro, how much, how much health does that stupid bird have? Come on, we got this guy weak and we can do it. Boom. What do you mean it didn't work? Hit him. Get him, kill him. Ah. Come on. Come on, we're so close. Come on, bro. Kill the bird! Just kill the bird! Do not... Do not blow up that booty! Oh, man! <sighs> Why would someone do something like that? Just... Ah. I'm just gonna try a sniper here. Sometimes the sniper helps a lot just by controlling the right units at the right time, okay? Knocking them back so that they can't attack. Because, you know, sometimes the ones that are in the front are the most dangerous, so... Let's see. Let's see if that does anything. It will give us a little bit more knockback, so that's good. Lots of money being made here, folks. That was a good little push. Good job, guys. Now, we take out all the things. Okay. 
seems like Fanoa died quick this time, guys. So we're just gonna have to <laughs> just gonna have to stop things from getting any crazier, okay? I think I think the sniper's helping, guys. He's gonna die eventually, but it seems like he's helping. So that's good. How how is this guy still alive? He's so close to Insanglion. He's gonna get like hit by Insanglion soon. Now there he goes. Okay, well that was a pretty. That was, that was a life well lived, okay? That, that's what I think. Ponoa, you gotta do this, okay, bro? You, got, you gotta take out that, that, that bird. It's weakened. I think you're all getting weak now. We had, we had this guy at 4% last time. 4%! If I was at 4% health, I think I would just die just to get it over with. Come on, Ponoa's gone, guys. Ponoa is gone. We a little bit worried right now. We have so little to do. So little, but that friggin' bird just does not know when to quit, okay? He's gotta be so low- Oh my god! How many percent did you have this time, you big ugly stupid idiot? Okay, you're fine. Yeah, actually, you're kinda beautiful. Not gonna lie. That did not help us. That didn't end- that- Why? I think- let's just get rid of Doron and put out a proper, uh, second uber-like. Maybe Jagando can do some nice surge attacks? He's one of my favorite units to watch. I just, I just love the way he does that like swiping thing and this goes Bwah! So let's let's see if that does anything, huh? Okay, Bonoa's here now. We're gonna get Jagando when we can, okay? And that'll be a good way to spend some money. Go Jagando. The bird's already here, so yeah. I just have, I have a feeling Jagando's gonna be like quickly murdered. Like, I'm surprised that Fonoa's alive right now because of how close he is to this guy. Oh, Jagando, you attacking? He tried. Not quite. Come on, Jagando, you know you wanna. I'm doing my very best to keep you alive, Jagando. Okay, I swear. He died, guys. He died anyway. Wait a minute, we got this bird on, uh... on strengthen already? All the way up here? Fonoa hasn't even died yet, and we got this bird strengthened? That's great! I mean, normally it's not great to cheer when your enemy is strengthened, but in this case, it absolutely is a good thing, okay? It only happens when it's almost dead. At least I thought so, but then again, this guy's been almost dead for a- He's dead! Okay. Yeah, the first few attempts where we got him down to strengthen, I thought, I thought it was over for him. Oh, you guys aren't done fighting me? Okay, here you go, just gonna, just gonna help out, just for a second, okay? Yeah, I thought it was all over at that point, guys, but that bird just keeps on going, okay? It's the gift that keeps on giving. Okay. What do I get from this? A rare ticket. I'll take a rare ticket. That's cool with me. And we get our clear reward. Nothing too crazy, but maybe, uh, no. Uh, maybe a meow medal? No, no meow medals. I, here, here's what I don't have done in this game, okay? Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 2 Zombies. What are these? Uh, Uncanny Legends two and three, because that sounds terrible, if I'm honest. I'm getting pretty close on the two. Uh, Malevolent, haven't done the Malevolent once completely anyway. Inferno 50, Bear and Sea, it's like, these are all the, um, like the, I don't know what exactly you call them, but they're the colossal stages, and I, I don't usually play through those. And then I have an assistant grade Gamma Toto Helper. I need to recruit one of those. And I need to get Socrates. I know I need to get Socrates, of course, or Soractes, as they say in, in here. Uh, totally the same thing, right? But yeah, he's uh, he's actually like the, the last thing you can unlock in this game right now. And it's not that far away. I think it's only a few chapters away in Zero Legends. By the way, guys, Legend Quest is back. So let me know if you want to see some of that. Maybe I'll do a stream or something. It's always fun to play Legend Quest in a stream because you don't know what's going to happen, you know? Now, this Machines in Revolt thing, uh, it sounds familiar. It gives you cat tickets. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just, just like do one of them. Machines in Revolt. Is that going to be like anti-metal? Should I get like an anti-metal unit? Here we go. That's an anti-metal loadout. That ought to do. Here you go. I feel bad for whoever comes out of here, you know? It's just one unit, and I brought a lot of anti-metal units to face it. Hello! Oh, there you are. Boop. That's life. Cat ticket for me, thank you. So a second ago, guys, I showed you there's a Meow Medal for beating all the Malevolent stages. This is one of them right here, the Malevolent Fish. 
and it's a way to get brainwashed fish cats true form. I don't know much about brainwashed fish cat if I'm honest, so let me just take a look at them. Okay, I'm pretty sure I don't even have brainwashed fish cat, guys. I have brainwashed brave cat and brainwashed dragon cat. So, I mean, I can get fish cat's true form, which just won't be much good yet. So, brainwashed brave cat. Mind controlled hero want to be programmed to be strong versus traitless with the chance to curse targets. That's cool. Strong and curse uh, with some immunities as well. Brainwashed dragon cat. Doesn't do anything. It's a single attack. Range attacker from a fantasy world featuring mighty single enemy strikes and a devilish design gained through mind control programming. Okay, so it probably has a good true form or something. That would be my guess. Brainwashed Fish Cat is a super rare cat that can be obtained by playing the rare cat capsule during the Halloween gotcha event. Okay, so this is useless to me right now because there is no Halloween gotcha event, but that's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and do an 11 draw on the Dynasty Fest just for fun. Okay, I, I have a bunch of cat food. I also have a bunch of tickets, but I don't like I don't like having to uh, use them one at a time. So we'll just do this, see what happens, okay? So we got Kotatsu, Nerd, Swordsman. Oh, what's this, something new? Oh yeah, is that the Diver? Because I was just looking at her. Yeah. Coastal Explorer Canna. Okay, all right. We gotta take a look at that, I think. Anything else good in here? No? All right, that's cool. The end. All right, so well, look, we got a new Uber, so uh, can't complain there. Let's take a look. I should probably upgrade her first and then take a look, but it's cool. Here she is. Coastal Explorer, Canna. Adventurer from another world in search of sea treasures. Taking swim lessons, hoping to dive to legendary wrecks. Massive damage to floating slash aliens with surge attack. Hmm. Floating and aliens and surge. That's, uh, that sounds pretty good. Yeah, I like that. This is also a long range attack, guys. So uh, I don't know how that's going to actually play out. Don't know where the surge would actually land there, but uh, could be, could be kind of useful. All right, let's get the evolved form for this one. Deep Diver Can. Look at that. That looks way better, guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Scouring the seven seas in search of treasure, realize that the ocean's life is more precious than gold. Oh, how sweet. Anything different with you? Or exactly the same? Exactly the same. Maybe. It, it could still have some sort of upgrade. No true form for this one, but uh, it's probably a fairly recent unit, considering the fact that uh, she has a surge attack. And here is the evolved form. Wow. Yeah, big difference, guys. Big difference difference look i'm just happy to add some color to a unit i don't even care if it does anything special however i will point out for no reason in particular that she did take off part of her wetsuit and she also seems to have traded in her gun for a paddle well what was she on before she was on uh, oh an inflatable but now she's on a paddle board okay very cool queen of the ocean we love you Okay, so we're not gonna be able to see the true form of Brainwash Fish Cat, but when I do unlock Brainwash Fish Cat, I will be able to get the true form at the same time. Okay, so let's do this stage. One weird thing about this stage, okay? The difficulty on it says 11 out of 12. And 11 out of 12 difficulty is supposed to be merciless, right? That's the one that comes before Brutal, but it's actually just an insane stage, so one of these two is wrong. Either this is harder than it says right here, or it's easier than it says back there. I hope it's easier because insane is fine with me. I was doing insane stages back when I was knee high to a grasshopper. Okay, so we got Aku here. Please don't kill us. I wasn't paying that much attention. And okay, great. Bro, why why is he Aku? What the heck? I guess that's, I, guess, I, th I think I remember that being a thing before as well. Okay, I'm leaving because I don't like your uh, your metal unit or the fact that you got all these Aku units here, okay? I can't, I, can't, I can't see what's in here. You have to die in order for that to happen. I didn't want to die. We got lots of good anti-Aku now, guys, okay? And we're only getting better as time goes on. Actually, now that I think about it, this might be a really good time to do a certain upgrade, okay? I didn't realize that this that this thing was gonna be a uh, an Aku. So yeah, let's, let's, let's do an upgrade, okay? 
Let's do a, a true form evolution on a new egg. Not a new egg, it's an old egg, but uh, we're, we're, we're newly gonna evolve it. You know what I'm trying to say. Today, guys, we are gonna get the true form of Mystic Egg N004. This is not an easy one to get. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. That's a ton of stones, but I did manage to collect enough, just barely. Okay, I'm not gonna have a lot left after this. Supercar Cat, guaranteed to pierce slash break shields and barriers. That is his ability. I think he's also kind of speedy at the same time. I'm not really sure. Let's just go ahead and get him and we'll find out. Here goes. Goodbye, behemoth stones. Hello. Cat on a duck. Cat on a duck. Cat on a duck. Woo! Supercar cat rides an eco-friendly car that runs on renewable fuel. High frequency horn knocks back traded enemies, breaks barriers and pierces shields. Wait, what? Knock back against any traded enemy and guaranteed barrier slash shield. I was gonna say breaker. One's a pierce, one's a break, okay? Guaranteed shield slash barrier destroyer. I feel like this is gonna be a pretty helpful unit, guys. And I did at one point look it up to see which of these eggs is best to evolve. And of course, courier is the main one. And, uh, and then uh, Mushroom Cat is another good one. This one is another really good one to upgrade. Eventually, I guess I'll get them all, but they just keep giving me more eggs, man. Stop giving me so many eggs, okay? Nah, I'm just kidding. You can give me whatever you want. That doesn't mean I'm gonna get around to upgrading it anytime soon. So apparently, guys, the knockback from Supercar Cat is also a guarantee. So this guy has three guarantees, which is pretty sweet. He also has fast movement speed and high attack power. The cons are low health and range, and uh, only usable in true form, which is not really that much of a con, and it's a single target attacker. Okay, single target, that's a little bit of an issue, but uh, if this guy can scoot in there and knock back any traded enemy, that could be cool. Not to mention the shield piercing and the barrier breaking. Supercar Cat is a glass cannon similar to Express Cat. Supercar Cat is a glass cannon similar to Express Cat, but in the category of Special Cats, which is good because Special Cats can be used in more stages. It has 81,000 attack power at level 50, over 10,000 DPS. However, due to its extremely low survivability, single target, low range, and slow attack frequency, it will usually land just one hit and must be timed well to actually get one in. It excels in stages with little to no peons or when used with a wave attacker like Slime Cat to destroy peons. Headmaster Cat Jobs or a high level Thunderbolt Cannon synergize well with Supercar as they allow Supercar to hit an enemy and otherwise might not be able to or land an extra attack on an enemy it can hit. So it's good on stuff like John Neelian and Golem Sunfish because of the fact that they uh, have long cooldowns. It might not be useful on enemies with many knockbacks as you'll be able to accomplish this with raw damage anyway. So it seems like Supercar is better against things with shields than it is against things with barriers, but that doesn't really matter because of the fact that I have so many barrier breakers already and Akus are a bigger problem anyway. So let's see if this guy can help us against the malevolent fish. So maybe we don't need this. Like maybe we can take out Aku Researcher, but then again, no, let's not. Let's take out this guy and we can compare both. So Supercar actually has the same cost as Bullet Train Cat guys and now that I think about it, they are very similar units. Even the name, Supercar Bullet Train, they both go fast. So let's see it in action. Get ready to witness this guy die or something. Go, pow, whoa, that's actually pretty cool. Oh, did I forget, oh man. I forgot to take an anti-metal. That's cool, now I get another chance to see the Supercar in action. Okay, was he honking his horn? Is that what he did? Oh, just like Jelly Cat. I love that. I love that little trade, you know? He wasn't gonna do much anyway, guys. You might as well just let him die, right? Supercar! Oh, no, he can't reach. This is really bad. What are we gonna do? Come on, Supercar. That guy's got a, maybe a single attack. Maybe you can, maybe you can get him. Does he even have a shield? Oh, no, there's multiple. This just keeps getting worse. This homie don't even got a shield, guys. So I guess we don't need to worry about breaking it. I actually think just spamming meat shields is working. Ha! Okay. How many more are you gonna send out for me? There's a couple here, I ain't worried. If I had Casley out here, it'd be all over. I could do that. 
Uh, guys, I feel like I feel like things things are bad now. Okay, I don't know what happened, but now we don't have the range we need, so we're we're probably gonna die. You can can can't get a hit in now, so we're sort of doomed. It's cool. Get this guy in here. Help help me out, bro. Come on, I know you can. Can't do it. Kind of seems like we need good range. We don't need to pierce shields at all by the sounds of it. So we'll, get, we'll go ahead and take these guys out again. And we need to deal with Aku, obviously. Anything we can do to Aku here will be good if we can knock him back, if we can freeze him, whatever. I won't try and weed whack him though. I don't think that's gonna work. Cone is great here. I think Fiend would help a lot too because Fiend can knock back uh, the Aku since there is no shield. Wonder if that panda can get close enough to hit him. I think he probably can. But Mad Duck would be great here. Let's put the Mad Duck in instead of you. We both we both know that you're gonna die. Okay, awaken Bahamut. Okay, I'm gonna make one more change. Okay, I was I was gonna go in there, but I'm gonna make one more change first. I want to put in Metal Macho just to see how he fares against the uh, the island. I feel like it's gonna go bad because it does attack quite frequently, but we'll see. That guy's gonna die fairly fast, right? I'll send out one of you. Uh, not fairly fast, he's doing pretty good if I'm honest. We just gotta not let it go, get too overrun. We need to make sure that we uh, are killing things, you know? Come on, kill it. You gotta kill it. Oh, I can get uh, I can get Fiend in here to help, if possible. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm supposed to kill him. That was supposed to be a, a big help. That guy was supposed to be a big help. Come on. Okay, we are able to knock back, but is it too late for that to really be a strategy? I don't know. We're killing. We're killing and we're knocking. So let's let's just keep it going, okay? I didn't realize that Pizza actually outranged this thing, guys. So Pizza's helping more than I thought. It's a good thing I kept him in. It's just that we do have an awful lot of these things and they're all lined up, but if Pizza can hit him, if Pizza can get even a single hit in here, I mean, it's pretty good because he has a pretty strong attack. So if he can hit them all in one attack, we'll be all right. Asley's coming. Now you've done it. These guys just keep on rolling in, don't they? Damn, boy. So if we can get enough money, which I sort of doubt at this point, we could get the duck back, you know? Pizza. Pizza's saving the day, guys. I didn't think pizza was going to save the day, but pizza's saving the day. Uh-oh. That is a metal hippo, guys. Surprise metal hippo out of nowhere, bro. Really? He's dead. Okay. Did we kill the last one? Is it? Oh, nope. No, it's not. This is actually worse. We have, we're actually having a, a much worse time now. This is not good. I did not realize that things were going to be like that. We need to do... Oh, my God. I don't even know what's happening anymore. Casley, for the love of God, please save me. I need to do some crits. I mean, looks like we killed almost everything. We just need to get the super metal hippo now or any of the things in front of them. That'd be nice. Pop. Just the one left, come on. If anything, we can draw out Pizza's attack now, okay? So if we gotta draw out, Pe draw out Pizza's wave attack, we'll do it, okay? We don't care. Okay, come on. Yeah, there we go, we got all of them now. We just need to take out, well, there's more coming, but you know, we just need to take out all the metal units now. Come on, metal units, just die! I would've brought more if I knew you was gonna be like this. Bro, bro, come on, come on! Curry, we just need some curry, come on, man! Well, guys, what if instead of Catasaurus, we just take Curry? Because Curry's got range. Maybe we should have both. Maybe this guy wasn't really doing anything we take him out. Maybe this guy's not doing anything we take him out, too. Cameraman's a good time. I'm going to try him. And then I'll go for the uh, the goat. Okay, Cat Typhoon. He, he attacks fast, but his crits are not as likely, so it, it sort of balances out, maybe. Okay, they're stacked too high now, guys. I can't, I can't actually get him with uh, pizza anymore, so... Uh, I think I made a mistake of not putting my Ubers out fast enough, but also let's just do a rich cat, okay? This is not an insane stage, by the way, just so you know. Just wanna point that out. Okay, this looks good. We got everything out we can get. I'll keep on clicking the glowing buttons, no biggie. And hopefully we can pop pop these guys fairly fast. The super metal hippo's a little bit trickier, but we just need to, just a couple pops, okay? Just a couple pops. Well, everything else is dead now except for him. So we can just get a couple pops. Just a couple pops. Come on, get a couple pops. A couple pops. One more pop. One more pop. Two more pops. Man, how many times do you have to pop this guy? I thought he'd be dead by now, but he does not want to die. 
I'm I'm a little bit concerned. Wait, no, I'm not. Things look okay again. <laughs> Life comes at you fast, okay? But that's okay. He's dead. We did it. That's all we had to do, man. I don't think you're gonna kill us now. I don't care about no regular metal hippos. I just don't want the super ones, okay? It's it's not the Mario Brothers. It's the Super Mario Brothers. If they weren't super, no one would care. Also, why are they called the Mario Brothers? If only one of them is Mario. Guys, they are not letting up, okay? They, they just, they're sending out a lot of metal units. I'm trying my best to deal with them. I probably should have kept Catasaurus in my loadout, if anything, but that's all right. We're gonna pop them. Oh, God. Guys, I don't want to die here. No! No! Oh, what the seal's doing? Oh, this is not good. Oh, the seals are really strong, guys. The seals don't take no for an answer. They don't even let you say no. They don't even give you a chance to say no. You are making me angry. And I do not want to be angry. I am trying to have a good day. How dare you? We have Catasaurus back instead of Cameraman. And we also have Gaia instead of Kazly. Okay? Just cause. Okay, guys. Gaia is tearing it up. Okay, I really like what she's doing. I want to I want to see more of that. I'm putting out all the things that I can, so I am putting out all my critical hitters. They seem to be popping as well. Pop, pop, pop. This long range on Gaia means she can keep hitting the other things while we deal with the metal as well. And that's great. Pretty much everything is dead. We love it. Pop. We just need to push these guys back to the base and take it out before those darn seals get here. I think I think we can just do it faster than the seals come out because they took a while, okay? They didn't they want to come out. They were just on standby just in case things got a little too crazy. Yeah, I got to say, I like this a little bit more. You know, I, I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a bigger fan of this. You want a second Gaia just cuz? Yeah, you know you want a second Gaia just cuz. Okay. Drop reward earned, yeah! <laughs> I'm lucky after reaching level 20. Ooh, good idea. And a first clear reward, of course. Um, yeah, that's, unless I'm just holding this in my storage, I don't think I have a brainwash cat, or a brainwash fish cat. That's a regular fish cat. We don't want that. Okay, guys, we are going to chapter three of Cats of the Cosmos now because I do want to experience Supercar a little bit more. All right, so we're gonna go to a level with an Ultra Baba in it. We're only gonna take supercar to deal with it normally in these levels i will take a kitty of liberty guaranteed chance to break those uh those uh barriers but i want to try something different i want to see if this guy can do the trick where are the babas this one has a baba in it so that's cool because baba there's only one way to deal with baba and that's break the barrier you either break the barrier or you die that's those are your options or you you do nothing forever you know you can do nothing forever if you want Bring it on, baby! Oh man, you gotta put out an elephant first. I was hoping I'd just have a nice, easy supercar thing. Here he comes! Nope. Nope, you did the wrong thing, bro. You're gonna die now because you did the wrong thing. Or is he? He got him! Ha 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 ha! Way to go, supercar! Another one? You want another supercar? Probably not gonna do much, to be honest. But that's alright. Well, wait, oh wait, hang on a second. There's some, there's some stuff that needs to be done here. Bring him out! Here he comes! And. And he didn't do it. He, he, he couldn't. He died. It's okay. You try again. Come on. Come on. Got him. Okay. He is filling the role quite nicely. And remember, he can also do a guaranteed knockback on things. Okay. So if he doesn't hit the Baba, he'll knock something back. Probably not going to be super effective because of his range. But that's all right. All right, guys, so today we unlocked two new true forms, even though one of them is not actually usable yet. But when Brainwash Fish Cat is available again, I will get him and then I will also upgrade him to his true form. The big thing though, is we got Supercar Cat. I'm broke now, but I got this guy and I'm happy about it. And I'm also impressed by the attack on this thing. I mean, look at it, it just looks really cool. Like that is a pretty scary looking duck, okay? If that's what it is, I don't know. I don't think ducks have teeth. So I'm gonna end this video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please smash that like button. And if you wanna watch another one of my videos, there's one right here. Thank you.